Hello, everyone, and welcome back to round two, back nine action of the Played Again Sports Jonesboro Open, presented by Prodigy. Stop five? The Disc Golf Pro Tour. Five? Yep. It seems like it's been 13. Oh. It also feels like it's the beginning of the season somehow, but either way, we are firmly into the swing of things here, and we are halfway through this event, and we're seeing predictably low scores. Just one bogey so far in our first two rounds on the front nine from either of our feature card or our lead card that came from James Proctor's three putt. Other than that, it's just been a bunch of birdies, guys. And speaking of birdies, we got James Conrad out there getting a lot of them. And he's got an eagle as well. He is 15 under through 16 holes. And these guys are now chasing him. And I don't even know what card he was on. I was just going to ask that. Yeah, like card? fourth or fifth card or Maybe something. Lord, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, like these guys are playing on 10 and he's trying to finish his round. So he yeah. is out there. Anyways, on to hole 10. Par three, it's 360 foot. Uh, slightly moving right. It's more straight than people think, but it feels like it goes way right. People are going to go the backhand Anheuser with fairway drivers that just hit the ground and jump right. I mean, this looks more of a mid-range, but he's his mid-ranges are fairway. Yeah, you can just always substitute mid but for fairway. Fairway would have worked a little better than that one. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> a little low out of the hand for Eagle. Calvin looking to make a speed adjustment. Perhaps the line was perfect in round one. And this needs to not crest the hill as fast as it did in round. Yeah. That's doing it right. I think you took a little off of it. Yep. I mean, six down on the front nine, and they both Missing miss. Missing putts. Well, they both miss one and two as well, which is, I don't think, how mm -hmm. they started the previous. Okay, but Goose needs to start making some jump putts if he's going to be putting them at circle two every time. Yep. He is one of those players that can get really hot with the jump putt, though. James Heiser release, oh and Heiser drifty, turn, drifty, big jump. To, it just is a thing of beauty. Eagle, no choice but to lay up here. Incredibly fast green from that angle behind the pin. It does nothing but slope if away. If my layups look that good. Like the flight going right at it, I would just be running that sun gun. Aaron wants none of that. I guess he does have three birds. He he finished out the front. Yeah, he had the turkey, three. but that's good. It's it's good for you know the people who are in the twentieth to thirtieth place. If you want to be in the top ten, you just you've got to be chugging along, chugging or trucking, trucking along. You gotta be chugging. Those brewskis. What up? <laughs> Those bird skis. <laughs> oh, wait. That was for my weekend warriors out there. <laughs> the guys with disc golf bags that have speech speakers attached to them. Yes, of course. I'm not hating on it. No. Cows around I mean, music, have, I'm I all for that. it. Yeah. I tried playing music one time casually with Nate Sexton, and he just politely asked for me to turn the music off. <laughs> really? He doesn't like music when he plays disc golf. He wants to enjoy nature. I, I respect that, so I turned the music up. <laughs> Conrad 16 through 17, Paul. He got hole 17. Oh my God. This is... this is. Calm down. We're talking... Um, you never know, though. 18 can be... Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, but still, regardless of what happens on 18 for James, this is... Uh, Nice run. It, yeah. I mean, uh, near all timer type round going on right now out there on the field. Hole 11 is a par four. It's 560 foot. If you hit the initial gap and you have some sort of a sidearm, you're going to play well on this, on this hole. If, if there was 18 of these on a course, somebody would shoot 18 under. Multiple people would. Well, there's like a lot of different types of shots, and James is trying to do that right now, which is crazy. But yeah, this is a this is a hole that feels like an absolute must get. Tee shots a little bit too open to cause most players trouble. 
It's going to be a little short. James is probably going to have to step out to his right and throw a flex forehand as opposed to the all hyzer forehand, which is preferable here on the approach. Good looking shot for Eagle. It's going to be yeah, maybe a foot or two better than James, which actually makes a bit of a difference. Aaron Wider adding to a really good spot, I think. Yes. And from all, all going to be doable. This is going to be the trickiest one. If he can turn it over enough, though, he'll be... He's yeah, play too it low. Deep, deep fairway. Eh. Good skip action there, but that's going to be deep outside C1. With a branch in his way, I think. Yeah, it's an, an obstructed green. And from here, this is just lawn darts. You can actually throw it in if you give it a good run just a bit short you can normally do that on all the holes <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> good point <laughs> eagle oh so eagle was actually a lot better than uh james's angle tricky but putt that's the society you gotta avoid especially when you're large yeah, we played together in round two, and I got to a lie that was a little bit tricky. And I remember I'd, saying, I'd, be big, they said. It'd be great, they said. <laughs> it's much better to not be, be great fun. in some of those. Yeah. James from deep. Yes, count it. He's trying to catch up to that stat. I think he's done it now. Yeah, he's... he's evened it out. <laughs> more outside makes than uh, inside misses. I think it's tied this round. Yes. Yeah. The, but either way, man, he is. I'm keeping tabs. He is a putting machine, no doubt. There Gossage. He is. That's Maybe. the first, like, not park job yep. birdie. So that's nice to see one go in. Eagle. Yeah. Not challenging enough. I mean,. Too easy. Um, so we talked about those lawn darts. Let's go ahead and give uh, some shout outs here. Not just one player. I have to give two shout outs for two twos. One was thrown in from 222 feet. That was Adam Hammes. And John Jones threw one in from 200 feet. Two eagles in the same day here on hole 11. Let's go. Okay, maybe they'd shoot 19 under. And is there an update on the hole 18? Not yet. Wait, folks. Hole 12, par 4, 655. Miss this tree, this little straggler over here on the, on the left. Cover the pond. Not the pond, the little out about it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and this is a really cool hole because it does challenge you to land a disc soft on the hill so that you don't roll away to the bottom. So throw it over a long ways. These guys won't have a problem with that as long as they miss the trees on the left and the right. And then just have a soft approach. It really tests how much touch you have kind of going in there. Calvin absolutely obliterates that drive off to the good angle as well, which should set up the same exact approach that he had in round one with a Soft little Anheuser with the Rhino. James going to not get as much distance, but get, gives himself a good angle out here to the left. Still a big shot. Wow. Okay, that was actually really big. Proctor's big. It's big off the tee. But this guy is the king of the big. Oof. Sheesh. Uh, oh my god absolute sheesh it's like he can do it whenever he'd like and he can turn the camera around whenever he would like he just chooses not to but if he would like to out, out of like kindness or respect or like what is it just out of like yeah i think so i think it's just like him being in control and then every once in a while he's like i'm gonna just put a touch of hyzer and i'm gonna make josh turn what i like about it is that it <laughs> as aaron this is a great shot as well 
what I like about it is that it it seems doable. Like you see the way he throws and it and to people at home, you might be like, oh, I, I think I could do that. That doesn't look like he's really straining himself that hard. There's that Lance Soft. I like that a lot. Now you can come in here with the sidearm, which Calvin chooses not to do, which I would prefer. Yeah, I like I like his play a lot. Yep. Because watch how it's Oop. just Ooh, um, and even at the slightest bit of hyzer, it still works to 22 feet. Yep. This, however. This requires a lot of touch and being flattened. Aaron crests the hill, barely leaving himself the putt you don't want. Well, that's because of the shot he's throwing. Yeah. If he was throwing a flex shot, it would land soft, but he's not. I would this, like, uh, oh, would that's got to sit. That's going to sit nicely. And thank God Calvin's disc was there. Kind of stuck its foot out there and tripped him. Aaron, scary putt. Look at that. Hard at it. Beautiful confidence and execution for Gossage. I would like Aaron's approach if he released it out of his hand with a touch of Anheuser. Same. James leaking out right. Hits the cage. And there's this hole. Again. Doing what this hole does. Move your back. Okay. It wasn't ever in a... Yeah, he was pretty nonchalant about that, but that was a little sketchy. Not again. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be the second three-putt for Proctor this round. Throwing the disc incredibly well and just getting punished on the greens right now. Ooh, a little right side. Let's talk about it. Yep, it's a birdie. Yep. That was weird, like a little Annie nose down. Yeah. Don't see that angle very often in no, this so That's so weird for like a 15-footer. <laughs> Reminds me of old Paul Uliberry putt. No. 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 <laughs> Those are way deep in the archives before the time of Jomez. I snuck that in there. So nobody would ever see. <laughs> it was smart. <laughs> 22 under. Guys, he did it. Oh. James Birdie's the last hole and shoots 17 under. James just shoots 17 under. Last year, Paul Macbeth and Calvin Heinberg finished his tournament three round tournament at 26 and James just saw, shot 17 under this round alone oh. I I don't know how to put it in context of how good that is because these guys are making the course look so good I mean so easy that it doesn't it doesn't seem that impressive but there's so many different angles and types of shots this course requires I, I'm just blown away congratulations hats off to you James for historic performance yeah, I just keep bringing it wow. back to the analogy what a of shot. take your best player from your hometown, team him up with your next best player, grab one more, come here, and you will not do that. Ah, uh, Eagle, that's the that's the one thing about this gap that's a little bit tricky is it's a little fuzzy. It is fuzzy. And those and it's weird because it's a low, you want to throw almost a little hyzer flip a lot of times. Yeah. And that has to come out low because then it lifts. And Aaron, then that first little bunch of stuff gets them. Aaron just pulls that to the right. Yeah, it's so easy to pull this one right. But I'm gonna double down on it. Three guys come to this course, yep. not happening. I promise. It just won't. It's a special, special round from a special player. A guy who when when he gets oh, hot. No. Miss that. Somewhere right in between Aaron's and, and Proctor's is that perfect ideal line. But yeah, when, when James gets hot, he uh he's he's capable of doing some pretty incredible things as we've seen today. And Proctor, this is a wide release out of the hand, and he's gonna leave himself a very scary downhill putt for the par right after having a three putt. Not the situation you want to put yourself in. Eagle after the errant drive, just to... Oh. It, yeah, for sure. Got to hold your breath as you see this. A good indication of the slope here from that angle. It's often 
a lot of shots roll away. And here is Proctor for the par. You know, he doesn't like having the inside the circle misses. The only thing that has surprised me all around so far is Proctor laying up on hole nine. Like everything else I get. Him missing the putt on the last hole and it rolling away, I get that. But uh, he just goes after it if he can see it. And why wouldn't you? Well, that one was for the par. Yeah. Big I, difference between sure. a birdie and giving one away. And Calvin, two for two with this left gap with the eagle parking at both times, making the gap look a lot easier on video than it does in person. That is a it's a it's a little bit of a sketchy gap, to say the least. And he is making that gap look huge. I think he's just telling Aaron, boom, another birdie. Because he's down <laughs> eight down to the last nine. And 20, I think 23 under. James is at 25. These guys are on pace, even with a 17 under to kind of like slide right I think by. It's him. like eight under first round. It's a good score. It just didn't seem good because there's 13s well, out there. It's a good score compared to what the field is, or to compared to the world. What the field is doing, it is not as a good score as so far weird. as what the Pro Tour feels like they should do. The caliber is. <laughs> awesome that's a bullet yeah it's also pulled over this could be in danger unless it gets through and it does that right side can be problematic eagle this is looking pretty decent can it get through everything it kind of does not everything but he's got a look i think from the edge of the circle yeah I really think that that's a play. Flex something into those big trees on the right. Hope they filter through. It's the safest place because. Uh oh. oh no. Yeah. Oh the no. The problem with that play is those right side. If you turn it over just a bit too much, is going to leave you out of bounds and still plenty of work. It's about two seventy from the edge of OB to the pin. And James pulls this one over, and I think this is also in pretty big danger of going OB. Oh. Yeah. I think oh, he caught stuff early. Oh, my gosh. I think you see the disc just try to get back in bounds there at the last bit. He took it way back. Oh, he wanted to go straight at it. And look That's at this. Why. Oh, no. Oh, that's fine. Okay, it stayed right there. I thought that thing was going to be outside the circle. Okay, so that's a relatively doable par putt coming up. I mean, a bogey putt coming. And this looks really good from Aaron. Great upshot. Anytime you get a red number on your card this weekend, though, it's just a devastator. Yeah. This is, this is one where you can somewhat get away with it. Uh just because it is the third hardest hole and not many people are taking the two on it. Yeah. Eagle would love to hammer this one home. And he does left side just over the rim. What a, what a birdie. Try to say bonus birdie, but. I couldn't do it. Oh, my goodness. 22 birdies on hole 14. Are they playing the same hole? That's that's ridiculous. Proctor, <laughs> good putt. Definitely back edge of C1. Not where you want to be to save the bogey, but... Calvin giving one back there to Eagle as he moves up to 22. They're both chasing still. Going to 15. Let's see what the average was. Yep, 2.22. A lot of twos going on in this back nine here. 
in on this course. Easiest hole in the course, one of the easiest holes on tour. It's just gotta, gotta get this one. It's surprising. We saw Calvin and Eagle miss this one in round one when they shot their 13 unders. Two hundred and twenty-two feet. That's how far Adam was when he threw his in. So it's doable. We've seen it's doable today. But two point two two average, two hundred seventy feet. No, I know. I'm just making a little. Oh, another two, and then two. Eagles at twenty-two under par. Yeah. It's just like two-two inception. Oh my gosh! Player count. Eagle deep C one. Kind of a sketchy putt. Calvin needs to avoid hitting the base again. Oh my gosh! Almost does it again. That time he narrowly misses it to his favor. I like this. Yeah, this is just going to dig. Yep. Yep. I like that angle because it's not going to take a, a giant skip and it's not so smooth that it can like slide into the. Yeah. Bounce off. This one. Could get stuck down below if it doesn't skip, but it does. Yeah, that's fine. But it has a chance to just kind of get stuck in that high stuff and leave a, yeah, like a test. That little ditch there. This is a terrifying putt right here. I mean, it's an easy putt when you're playing really good. Oh, and he is playing really good. But, like, from right there, it's a trickster. I, uh, I kind of can't believe right now that Eagle is at 22 under par being even on this hole when he's two down on hole five. Yeah. You know, like to me, that's I mean, just Calvin's not done yet either. This is a, those aren't easy putts. When Calvin starts walking quick to the bucket. Oh, smooth mode activated. Yeah, it's yeah. like he's got that confidence. That's, yeah, that's scary. You know, and that was because, <laughs> and that had to do with I think Eagle missing and him getting one. He was like, finally, little chess match, gotcha. Missed the little base. Eagle knows that, that is just losing one on the field, and you said easy putt. There's no such thing as easy. I I want to reiterate that because it might seem routine. But as soon as something comes into your head as this is easy, I think it takes away from the challenge or it takes away from the focus. So it, 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 we expect it because of what they've done on an often basis, making all those putts. But it's not easy. They oh, have yeah. to focus on each one. Otherwise, they're going to leave one high like people did. Definitely a bad take. My take was a bad take? No, mine. Mine. No, oh. me saying that oh. that was easy. I was, oh, I was saying that, was you like, know, with the way that he was playing. Tell me how playing, you really feel, Paul. No, the way he was playing, I felt like it was easy. Yes. But it and but I did mention kind of that it wasn't easy afterwards. So I think that this this, this needs to get some uh, hyzer at the end. I think that this is easy for him. Oh, Calvin. He is another 10 feet of drive away from being in a bad, bad place. But now he's in a perfect place. Now he's in a place that not many people have the... Oh, no. Goose. This is where you just kind of wave goodbye to it. Fortunately, there's no out of bounds on this one, so it's going to be a pitch up to the landing zone. He's still in birdie range, though. That took a lot off of it, but... He got a good. Just don't be underneath that's really the tree. Good, I think. Oh, is he under the branches there? Yeah, I think he's yeah. going to be a little bit of blocked off. A little layup, easy bird. <laughs> easy bird. Yeah, <laughs> right after. Good. <laughs> okay. I'm just messing with you. This is prime spot. You want to get left of that tree, just past it. Eagle has done. What he needs to do. And now, yeah, Aaron is in a tight little spot. I think he can get to that landing zone. Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to be a scramble. And James, I think this is just going to be a, an easy layup. Sit down. That is good touch. It's so 
so quick there. Oftentimes, so easy to no, go it's so out of easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't, even, I don't even want to say the word. It sounds icky now. <laughs> I know. You got me like trying to get used to it. <laughs> Eagle, this is heading towards left edge of circle. Yeah, that's perfect play. The other, uh, the other option for him would be to go a little bit lower and attack that initial gap, but why would you? Calvin goes back in turnover. I played with Germ in this same round. He decided to go flare double skip off the water for some odd reason. I was one blocked of best, off. One of the best shots. He was in the same spot as Calvin. One of the best shots I've seen in a while. <laughs> Thank you. And he, this that's what the goose might have to do. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, look at that. Get double knocked down. A smart layup from Aaron. <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's a tough spot to be after too. You, you just don't want to give up the easy birdie on this one. Ah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> nice shot, I think. Or maybe it's deep. No, that's... It's not great. Yeah, you want to be a little it's bit closer great. from from there. That's Avoids the pines with the big high spike hyzer, but he'd like to have it look a little bit more... Like that. Like that. Eagle for eagle. Mm. Pretty good. Smooth. All right, we got the proc. For birdie. A proc ultimately in the center of the basket. That's a tough one for me. Yeah, I mean, Circle's Edge is tough for a lot of people. Calvin nearly bullseyes his eagle approach. Crazy. Made it look really easy, but you were right. He was really he was really close to being kind of tucked where, where the goose was there. Yeah, so right. Playing, playing with fire. You have to, kinda. if you go that super deep option, if you're just five feet off of the perfect spot, you're left with nothing because yeah. that corner is very specific and Calvin just barely got around. And now Calvin, for the first time, retakes the lead. He was at 24 going in and walks to 17 at 26 under par. And to note, like I said a couple holes ago, that was the winning score that Paul and Calvin went into the playoff last year after three rounds, 26 under. And now Calvin is there with two holes to go in the second round. That is what calm weather will do at a course with not a bunch of OB. With sucking wind. With wind basket. that that just pulls you right towards the basket. Yeah. 660, same same distance as hole four. Interesting little, little deal there. Calvin pushing this one down the uh, right side, getting a little bit of... I don't want to call it a fortunate roll because that right side is, it's, it really is, how far did you get? If you got far enough, it's a sidearm. If not, it's a flick roller. Is this too much turn finally, or is this going to just park it? If it stables out, it's going <laughs> to... Oh, no. Park okay, it. what on earth? Best drive ever. That didn't look like it should be good, did it? No, I I thought... Two things. I thought woods or parked. And I was wrong about both because I'm horrible at my job. And the James. only reason I'm still here is because nobody else wants to do it <laughs> and hang out with you, Jeremy. I'm just kidding. Proctor. That went, that went cold. Proctor, the difference between him and Calvin is, I think, pretty big. <laughs> He's. What do you mean? I mean, they're in a very similar spot, but. The three or four feet extra. Yeah. Look, okay. look, you yeah, can yeah, see yeah. it's the, gonna You're be right. the difference, I think, mm -hmm. in what they're able to do with their next shot. Yeah, that's so true. And this is doing well, but then it just always kind of slides right back in there, and that's tough. Getting the flick roller to hit the right angle and then stand up and then not go back in the woods is just the slimmest of margins. You have to just nail it perfect. See, well, I would suggest people when throwing that. Always try to miss to the oh, that was Calvin so close. Pulls it a little, yeah. 
always try to miss it to the left side of the basket. As opposed to the right side, yeah. yeah. And then you, because if you're out there, kind of where Proctor is, that's makeable. Very that's well makeable. done. And, and Eagle's just going to have, what, a jump putt? Yeah. Is he? He's not even going to throw it. He's going to putt it, isn't he? Didn't even jump. That was so easy. And I was just kidding. I'm kidding out with you. I mean, that that's for the crowd because I knew that. You don't have to explain that to me. Aaron just kind of scrambling the whole way here on 17, but he's going to walk away with par. And Calvin now has a yeah, – he's got this. Yeah, he does. This is a scary putt. Oh. That is in some ways fortunate that it doesn't stand up and roll a little bit. That is There's a no, – Look where he is. This is like Calvin – oh, my gosh, what a good putt. Yeah. Most, you know, he you just walked through the branches that he went through. It, it, yeah. Tough to see from that angle, but – That's a good par save. Yeah. And the difference between the drives and James and Calvin is one stroke. Yep. A lot of shots end up funneling towards that right side wood line. And Eagle is so close to being right where they were. He he catches a, a anything, and he's going to get smacked down right where they were. But he misses and ends up with the best drive we've ever seen on the hole. Really good. And I'm going to take that back. I actually was kidding, and now I'm going to play hard to get with you. Oh, my God. This, this has gone in so many different directions. <laughs> it's hard to follow. Kind of like my dating life in my 20s. <laughs> On to hole 18. Par 4, 818 feet. I think it's a fun number. 818 for hole 18. Hardest hole in the course. <laughs> cool. 4.39 average. Which is saying a lot on this course because people are out there just obviously shredding. Big hyzer play is what Eagle did in round one. Down the middle straight play for Calvin is what we saw from him. But I think we're going to see maybe a forehand from Gossage going down the middle. I like the forehand play too. God, this is just roasted. If you have the power... Eagle does. I think you, you don't, have a, but you, you don't. Sure. But, but do you, you don't. Yeah. Nobody out there does. No. That's not a true thing. He just, he has a responsibility to throw that shot is all I'm saying. Yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. The only other person that I think might be able to do it could be this guy with a flex and Anthony Barilla. Other than that, Garrett Gerthy. Yeah. There's, I mean, like there's a, a three, few guys three, who can do four, it. They, but not like with ease like that. Calvin actually goes past Eagle's drive, but by going too far right, I think he's sealed his fate because I don't think there's an approach angle with really? a disc that finishes that far right. Yeah. I think that, I think that his angle is completely cut off. Okay. It's a very, it's a very fine line between the distance and the accuracy there. And I think Calvin is, push too far right i think so yeah. we'll see aaron that needs to be lower if that's lower that has some good potential but going high yeah that's the bunker tree that you've got to avoid yeah i think with a little turn too yeah yeah, yeah a little yeah. lower a little bit more i think that's, that's what i mean I, I think if it's lower it has more turn oh no oh no stayed okay. safe okay. wow that is fortunate because that was a Complete yank. Fortunate for Aaron to be on the right side so he can step out, throw over Sit. the limb. Yeah. Oh, that's that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's going to be an easy par, which is a great score to walk off this hole with. But yeah, you see that. There's Calvin's disc to the right. Look what Eagle's got. Just a simple little hyzer. Simple is different than easy. He leaves that one a bit short, but putting for birdie is just thumbs up. Goes for the tight. Yeah, gap. that's so wow. smart. Wow, and that's a great. I did not spot. expect to see that. I was, yeah. I thought he was going to challenge those limbs in front of him. But yeah, Calvin pretty much reserved to give himself just up the fairway. Ooh, 
a little one time. Eh. Very good. R is great. Mm -hmm. Not the round that Gossage was looking for today on moving day. He'll be moving backwards, but still in contention for a good finish. And we're going to run it. Did he say sit before? I, I think he knew that it was going to hit the bucket the whole time. Wow. Now Eagle to get to 26. Great left too, it. to just see how far it plays. That's a slight bit uphill too. <laughs> He's two under on hole five and two under on hole 18 and even on hole 15. Just go figure. I don't, none of it makes any sense to me. But he's 26 under for the event. That's the ultimate number that matters. And now he is tied with Calvin at the top. A good par scramble for Proctor. Same for Aaron. And Calvin will step up and tap out. So finishing with two pars, starting with two pars. The middle section for Calvin was 13 birdies. He is without a bogey right now, and he is tied with Eagle at 26, just the same way they came into the round. Guns blazing. And speaking of blazing, we got to give one more shout out to the man of the hour, the man of the day, James Conrad, 17 under par. Look at all the 13s that you see. He jumped up 21 spots, which would mean that he would either be on the fifth card or the sixth card. And now he is on the lead card. One shot back of the lead. Corey Ellis is going to round out our lead card as we're just seeing again. One stroke is the difference between eight to ten placement spots and a lot of these scores. It's just good action out there, folks. Here's what's crazy. You play the tournament. Before the tournament starts, they say, if you want to be in the lead, you can only miss eight holes total for the first two rounds. That means that you have to shoot better than nine under. Yeah. At least. Yep. Uh, what? You can miss four holes a round. That's... <laughs> That's what... Some, some cool stuff, folks. We are two rounds in, one final round to go here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. See you guys tomorrow for the conclusion of the 2023 Played Against Sports Jonesboro Open. Mm -hmm.